How you doing? Okay, I brought us back outside. Uh, it's fall. The leaves are turning. I can hear the birds going south. Uh, Expos should be playing. Uh, but, okay. Yeah, I just had to get that off my chest. Now, I'm going to show you how to improve your wine drinking without spending a single cent more on your bottle. And what is called oxygenating your wine. Now, this is something that uh, a lot of people are really confused about. You know, I got these carafes, these decanters, and, you know, I mean, when do I do it? How long? For young wines, and the majority of wines that we drink are stuff that we pull right off the shelves at the SAQ and then come home and drink them. Now, how can you make that your drinking better? If you were smart enough to buy your wine a little bit earlier, let's say the day before, the best thing to do is first thing in the morning, pop the cork, pour yourself just a little glass to taste it, to check to see if it's good, put the cork back in, and by the evening your wine will be so much better. I've done numerous taste tests with the exact same bottle of wine, and just 12 hours of aeration like this is enough to make the wine that much better. But, if, let's say you're just getting home from the store, you have dinner in like an hour and a half, what are you going to do? Okay, what you need to do is oxygenate it by pouring it into another vessel. So, you need to buy a decanter? Bah, they look good, but you don't really need to. What I use more than anything else is my handy mason jar. How do you do it? Easy. Oh, I'll take out the funnel. I'll show you why. Later I have a funnel. Now, you pour the wine in the mason jar. It is not fine china. Don't worry about it. All this is going to do is oxygenate the wine even more. Put your funnel in the bottle. And pour it back in. Tough, huh? What, this is called double decanting. And what this does is just add a lot of oxygen to the wine immediately, which will start certain chemical processes in the wine, which will make it that much more complex and drink that much better. Uh, which wines do you do this for? I do this to every single red wine that I drink. Uh, it takes no time, and I guarantee you, just got to watch make sure it doesn't foam up, that the wine will taste so much better. Have you ever noticed that the last glass of any bottle is always the best? Why? Because it's had time to oxygenate. Make the first glass just as good as the last. You can't your wines. Talk to you next week about older wines. You can't quite do it this way.